Hi, my name is Brooke Chancy, and today we are going to be measuring active range of motion for knee flexion. To start, I have my patient in a supine position lying on her back. Her pelvis is stabilized by the weight of her body. So to start, we're going to have her drag her heel up to her butt as far as she can to find that active range of motion. I'm going to set the axis of my goniometer on the lateral condyle of her knee. The stationary arm is going to follow the midline of her thigh up to the greater trochanter. The movable arm is going to follow the midline of the shin down to the lateral malleolus. And here I'm measuring about 137 degrees of knee flexion, where 135 is normal. All right, now we're going to be measuring active range of motion knee extension. Again, my patient is in the supine position on her back. We have a bolster rolled up underneath her ankle. Just in case she has any hyperextension, we'll be able to measure that. So I'm going to place the goniometer again, the same landmarks as for knee flexion at the lateral condyle of the femur. The stationary arm is going to head up to the trochanter, following the midline of the thigh, and the movable arm is going to follow the midline of her shin. So to make sure we max out full range extension, I'm going to have my patient do a quad set. So go ahead and flex your quad. Good. We're fully extended now. I'm going to get my goniometer set up. And I'm actually getting one degree of hyperextension here. Zero degrees would be the normal range for knee extension. Now we're going to be doing manual muscle testing of the quad muscles. The four quad muscles originate from the pelvis and the proximal femur and insert on the tibial tuberosity. So for stabilization, we have a towel placed under the patient's thigh. I'm going to make sure she's in a nice, tall, upright posture and go ahead and lean over onto the test leg. Good. I'm going to place her lower leg mid-range between knee flexion and knee extension. And I'm going to force your shin down into knee flexion. Don't let me push you, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. The patient was able to resist strong pressure, so I would score her a five out of five. Now we're going to be doing manual muscle testing of the hamstring musculature. The hamstring muscles originate at the ischial tuberosity of the pelvis and insert on the medial tibia and the head of the fibula. So I'm going to place my patient into knee flexion here. I'm going to stabilize underneath the ischial tuberosity and I'm going to be pulling her into knee extension. So do not let me pull you. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So for gross knee flexion, I would give her hamstring muscles a five out of five because she was able to resist strong pressure. Finally, we're going to be doing muscle length testing of the hamstring musculature via passive knee extension or the 90-90 test. So first I'm going to place my patient into 90 degrees of hip flexion, 90 degrees of knee flexion, and her ankle can be relaxed in plantar flexion. This test is a precise start position to avoid any pelvic motion, so I'm going to have my patient grab her posterior thigh. Can you hold that position for me? Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to passively extend the patient's knee until I feel any tightness, which is right about there. Can you hold that for me? Mm -hmm. Using the goniometer, I'm going to place my axis at the same landmarks as knee extension and flexion as before. So the lateral condyle of the femur, following up to the greater troke and the midline of the thigh, and the midline of the shin to the lateral malleolus. So here, I'm getting about 29 degrees of knee flexion. You can go ahead and relax. So anything greater than 20 degrees of knee flexion here is considered tightness of the hamstring musculature.